Hi, and welcome back to Country Cooking and Living. Today we're gonna to make celery powder. The first stage you have to do is take and make it into dehydrated celery. You can use that already into soups and stews and other things, but I'm gonna use, use it in powder form instead. I do this because in the stores you can get celery salt and celery seed, but you can never seem to find celery powder. I don't use the seeds because it gets stuck in teeth and the older generations that want that celery salt have dentures and you don't want things like that. Small getting into them. It's like having a strawberry, those little seeds they don't like having. And I don't get to use celery salt because I'm a heart patient and I shouldn't have a whole lot of salt. So this is the best way for me to get the celery flavor without it affecting my body or other people that I share my food with. Now, we're using the dehydrator. And we can use it on a conventional oven. On a conventional oven, you can use dehydrate. It takes the same amount of time, but you'll have to be pushing the button in three hour increments. And you can also use, you can also use an oven oven, but you'll have to put it at like the lowest setting possible. And it might be 150, it might be 200, but you'd have to put it in the lowest setting. And you can still do it for six hours, for six to eight hours. It really depends on your oven temperature. Now, I didn't need to get a big batch of celery. I'm doing it in a smaller one, but when the season comes around like Thanksgiving and Christmas, I get as many as I can, dehydrate it, and I make a bunch of celery up at that point. So that's what I do. So I take it and did a small batch, which is one bag of celery that you can get at the store. It doesn't matter what type, organic, non-organic, doesn't matter, but you cut them in one fourth pieces. And then you place them on the things in here, which is the racks. And you just place them. You don't want them to touch each other, but you just place them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put these all over on each layer, and then we'll come back and I'll show you. Hi, and welcome back. I've already gotten two layers going. I'm doing the next layers and I'm going to show you that they do connect and sometimes they can be difficult. You have to move it around. And for the last one, I spaced them pretty good. And now we put the lid on. Make sure it clicks. Okay. Now on here there's a start, low, medium, and high. We're going to do a high, and this is going to go for six to eight hours, and then when it's done, I will show you the finished product of the dehydrated celery, and then I'll show you how to make it into powder. Welcome back to Country Cooking and Living. It's been roughly about seven hours, and now we're going to check it. Some of the pieces fell through to the bottom. That happens. Some of these pieces should either snap, you'll hear it like that, or they won't. The ones that aren't snapping, you can put off to the side and make another pile, but the ones that snap are pretty much done. So I'm going to take a break and I will go through and make sure which ones snap and which ones don't and come back and then make it into powdered celery. Welcome back, and now this is our mat that we have that's broken and dried. This needs at least another hour, so you can either take it and put it outside and redo some more in there, or you can trash it if you want, or you can put that off to the side and put it in some soup or something. But this 
is now the final product of what was there. And we're gonna put it into that, which is my old amount. And then if that's too much, we have another container that we can put it in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my grinder and I'm going to put in a handful. I'm not gonna go past the metal mount that's in here. I don't put a whole lot because once it comes down to a powder, it gets bigger and it makes it more difficult to work. So as you can see, it's very little in there and now it's going to get really noisy. residue up on top. I like to bring it up a little bit and tap it. This is going to come out as a puff. See? And now you have powder. Yes, there'll be a little bit of chunks in there, but they're very fine chunks. And then I put it on plate so that I don't make a mess. And I put it in here. And I tap whatever's left over and I do it again until this container is full of it or I have no more. So I'm going to do this a couple more times. stronger than what you get in the store. It's not got any fillers. So it will be very strong compared to the stores. and macaroni salad and stuff like that. And it's really simple to use and it gives it a lot of flavor. take a fork or a knife or a spoon and get it out. Usually I can tap it when it comes out. But as you can see, it was that simple, that easy. And now you've got your own homemade celery powder. So here you go. Celery powder. Simple, easy and you get a lot out of it. So until the next time, love, faith, and hope, and we'll see you next time.